So we're here in uh, Rancho Santa Margarita doing a tile roof leak repair. We're going to find a leak in this valley. You can see Rancho Santa Margarita pretty much it has nothing but uh, tile roof leaks. The yeah, weather's looking, looking a little sketchy this morning, but we work in this stuff all the time. We know what to do. You can see nothing but tile and tile and tile. So they got a leak in uh, the bedroom right below this area. Somewhere in this area right here, the son's front bedroom leaking through the vent. And um, so we're going to take up the valley right here, see if we can find the roof leak. And you can see that underneath here, they got lots of mud build up in the, in the valley quite a bit. Probably rotted out the paper right here in this area and it's leaking right down to the bedroom right over here. So, so what we do is, you can see he's numbering all the tiles, so all the cut tiles, uh, we number them. All the field tiles, we're going to move them, safely stack them aside for later reuse, tear them up real carefully, real safely stack them, make sure that there's no problems. He's going to number all the cut tiles, that way they, your valley goes back exactly to where it was. Because sometimes these roofers, they'll put, they'll put a valley back together and it, it looks real sloppy and doesn't look like it did before. And uh, the goal, our goal of fixing your roof is to make it, make it look like we were never even there. So we want to put everything back together exactly the way it originally was. It's real important to us to basically do a restoration of the area as well as fixing the original roof leak. We want to, pretty much after we leave your roof, you're not even going to be able to tell that we were there. So uh, now we got one side of the valley up. Uh, a lot of the roofers will just try to fix this side right here and just see, you know, put some tar on there or something like that and then leave it. But um, the way that the paper runs, it runs under here and it, it must be weaving, woven, excuse me, and uh, which means you have to take up both sides. You never want to fix just one side of the valley. Don't ever let a roofer tell you he can uh, fix one side. That's, that's, not, that's, a, that's a total band-aid. So now we're going to take up this side, we're going to cut out all the paper, we're going to check the deck, make sure there's no mold damage or anything, repair the deck, and then we're going to um, we're gonna reseal all the pipes, basically. Now, something that we do that's differently from most, from most uh, companies, you can see we already worked on this one over here, and um, this pipe, for instance, has hot uh, gas coming out for the water heater, probably the furnace by the water heater. You can see that there's no storm collar on it and uh, we provide the storm collars. Nice rubber EPDM storm collars for these. And uh, the old mastic you can see it's just not even sticking to it. it. Just chips right off. So most of the roofers they just want to go right over this and it's a real sloppy job. So we're going to clean all these off. You can see we cleaned it off. We'll clean up all this mass. We'll put on uh, proper storm collars. You can see we've got one there. And uh, storm collars are really important. Now you want any gases that are in this pipe, would some of it get out of it at the elbows down below in the attic, and it's got to get out through these gaps. And when they seal it up without the storm collar, you get carbon monoxide basically in your attic. So you want this, and that's why you need storm collars. So you get the storm collar, seal on top, and then a gap right here for the gases to come out. So all these pipes, they got to be properly cleaned. You can see, you clean them all. Everything's been chipped off, cleaned up brand new and then we can get a new polyether based sealant to seal around these and that's how you properly do it. It's usually a lot different. Almost every time most of the roofers they just seal new sealant over old sealant. They usually use a crappy sealant so you basically end up with bad sealant over bad sealant and that's why it, it just doesn't work. You see this felt paper is like really wet right here. I'll bet you the leak is right here in this area. We're not going to do too small of a repair because we don't want to leave them with this problem. So we're going to remove this whole section of the valley, cut it all out, check it, repair it. You can see everything gets safely stacked aside. That's how we do it. And, um, you know, what is it? 8.35. We started here uh, not even 15 minutes ago. And you can see how, how efficient we are because this, this is basically all we do. That's why it's way different than having us fix your roof than pretty much the other roofers. They take forever to do this stuff. We know exactly where to start, exactly what to do. We don't have to think about it because, well, this is all we do. So um, that's about it. You can see also here, it's unique probably to our company, recyclable bags. We don't go to Home Depot, buy contractor bags and throw them away and fill up the landfill with poly bags. We use these, real nice bags, high quality, expensive. We buy them. They're way more than trash bags, but we reuse them over and over. So we take these bags, 
We take them to the dump, we throw them out, we empty them out, and then we uh, fold these up and we save them. We can probably use these bags, I would say, on average of about 20 to 30 times each. And then by the time we use them, they're totally disintegrated and they biodegrade quicker than your plastic uh, poly bags. So we try to be green friendly also. So the repair gets done properly. We don't waste trash bags. We don't do crappy reseal the pipes just over it. We don't go over the old felt paper. We're going to cut all this stuff out, throw it away, redo it all nice and properly. Take this piece of valley metal out. Uh, one thing you don't want to do is a lot of roofers will stop right here. Just take some new paper and just go right over the old paper. And then any mold damage you have under here is totally buried. And uh, that's, a, that's a real bad job. So uh, that's not something we do. So we'll get all this out and um, take a few pictures, show it how, it's, how it uh, comes out. And um, that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Okay, so we're back here. We got it all stripped now. You can see we found quite a few problems. Little leaks over here, little leaks over there. We're going to pound down all the nails to make sure a couple of them popped up. It always happens when the deck gets wet like this, nails pop up. You got to make sure they're all pounded down. That's why you got to strip the felt. They don't have any plywood damage here, so everything looks pretty good. So now we're going to um, refelt it all out and put it all back together. And you see we got all our tiles all numbered. They're all going to go back. We're all ready to go. We'll get it all finished up and uh, show you a few pictures of the finished product. Reseal all the pipes. Oh, we got them. They're already all resealed. We're all good to go. So this is it. We'll see you on the next one.